AutoCAD drawings can contain several layouts. This means we have complete control over how or how much of our model space geometry we plot. Since we can have multiple layouts, let's look at how we can organize the layouts in our drawing. On my screen I have a mechanical example. I actually have two parts drawn in model space. They're both related. Each of these is an electrical cover plate. On the left I've got a switch cover, and on the right I've got a receptacle cover. Now even though these drawings are together, I would like to plot them individually on separate layouts. If we look right down here, you can see that I've already used the design center to insert an A-size sheet. And this layout contains a viewport, and the layer happens to be turned off. Let's go to the layer control and we'll turn that layer back on. There we go. Now I'll double click inside the viewport, and then we'll do a zoom extents to see our geometry. Then I will pan this over, because I'd like to use this layout to plot my switch cover. We'll center this guy in the view, and then we'll set our viewport to a measurable scale. I'm going to try 1 to 1, and that looks like it'll work. The only problem I have is I can still see some of the other geometry. Let me show you how we can fix this. I'm going to move my cursor outside the viewport and double click. I now have access to the geometry on my layout. I'm going to select the viewport edge. Notice I have grips on the corners. I'm going to select this grip, and I'm going to make sure my running object snaps are turned off. These tend to get in the way if we're editing a viewport boundary. Let me move this edge over to here, and then I will click this grip, and I will pull this edge to here. Since our viewport is a window into model space, I can use these grips to change the size of my window. Now that I'm finished, I'll deselect this, and I'll turn the layer back off. Now this layout is just about finished. I want to do one more thing, though. I'd like to rename it. To rename a layout, we'll double-click on it, and then we can enter a new name. I'm going to type CP1 and hit Enter. If we have multiple layouts in our drawing, we can click, hold, and drag these to a new location and release if we want to change their order. Now that my layout's finished, I'd like to create a copy of this layout to use to plot the other half of my drawing. To copy a layout, I will click, hold, and drag, and while doing that, I'm going to hold down the Control key. And then I'll release my mouse button to create my copy. Let's select this layout. Notice it's the exact same thing. I'm going to change the name. We'll make this CP2. And let's adjust the contents of our viewport. I'm going to try and do this without turning the layer on. Let's double click to jump into the viewport. And then I will pan this over. And it looks like the geometry will fit nicely. Now that I'm finished, I'll double click outside the viewport. And we can change some of our title block information. This is a dual receptacle cover. And I misspelled that. Let me right-click on it, and I'll select the appropriate spelling. There we go. I'd like this to be Sheet CP2. And before we wrap this up, you may wonder, hey, I've got a couple of layouts in this drawing that I'm not going to be using. Is there any way I can remove a layout? Yes, there is. If you want to delete a layout, right-click on the tab and select Delete from the menu. Now you will get a warning saying, hey, you're actually deleting this layout. Do you want to do that? That's fine. I'm going to click OK. Let's get rid of Layout 2 as well. Using these layouts, I was able to take my model space geometry and create two separate plots. AutoCAD drawings can support an unlimited number of layouts. With a little organization, we can take the same model space geometry and plot it any number of ways.